guys. Happy 4th of July weekend. Um, I'm going to start off saying I'm in an amazing mood today. Um, I am just, I'm feeling great. Uh, I've been on, on my bike for maybe 15 minutes already. And I am just, I don't know, I'm, I'm having a ton of fun today, especially out on the bike. I am going um, with uh, my wife and her family up to this town. We've done it for the last two years. Um, so it's kind of a tradition at this point. And uh, they basically they do this huge town barbecue and uh, pie. And uh, the whole reason to go is pie. Any pie you could ever possibly imagine, they have it. Every, any pie, it doesn't matter. They have it and it is just this exciting, this, it, it, it's a fun get together and it's gonna be with her and her family and I'm really excited to go. Um, and then we're gonna actually stay over at her grandparents and go to a family reunion on her side. Uh, her father's side to be specific. So, um, we'll be doing that. So it's, it's kind of a, I got a lot going on this weekend, not just the 4th of July stuff. Um, I'm really excited, you know, happy birthday America. Um, and I'm gonna talk about, just for a little bit, why it's so important to me. And um, the easiest way for me to um, explain that is because my family, a good number of um, men in my family, and uh, I, I'm not trying to sound sexist, but <laughs> um, my, like my grand, uh, grandpa, uh, all his brothers served in the military, and he served as a um, fire chief um, for a long time. Uh, you know, my father, he served for 23 years. Uh, his uh, grand, uh, grandfather served before him, and then everyone, every father of my father's grandfather served. Um, the only his his father uh, just kind of skipped that, but we're not we're not focusing on that. What we're focusing in on is, is my family is really ingrained in that sense of life. And my brother, my younger brother, actually um, he is serving right now. He uh, actually just graduated from AIT a couple weeks ago, and he's serving now. So for me and my family, I grew up on um, bases: the Fort Knox, Kentucky, um, Fort Hood, Texas. Um, and a bunch of others that, you know, I'm just talking to fast to remember. And I have, I just, for me, it's really important. You know, I grew up around it and it's something that hits home to me. Uh, especially since, you know, it was my father raised us. Um, and he, he was a stern man, but the qualities that he owns up to, you know, he doesn't ever take anything lying down. He's not going to let other people get hurt. He will stand up for people. And he's ingrained that in uh, me and my brothers. But, uh, you know, I've always been around the military life. Um, and it's something that's very dear and important to me. And oh my God, what was that? That was beautiful. Anyway, 4th of July, who cares? Um, so, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm super hyper right now and I'm not entirely sure why. I haven't even had a cup of coffee. But, um, so, my father served, my brother's serving. <laughs> so my youngest brother's in the military and my middle brother right now just got accepted into the police academy. And uh, so he's now working in that. So you can imagine for me personally, the service men and women of this country, from the military to the police to the firemen, every, any aspect, I mean, even EMTs, I mean, hell, doctors even. To me, it's important that we celebrate them along with the birth of this country. Because the, what makes this country so great is that people are willing to defend it with their lives. They're not forced to do it, they want to do it. And that's what makes this country so great, is the ability to make choices on your own. You know, the freedom. And I think a lot of people are forgetting about that these days. You know, that, that that freedom was won by the blood of others. You know, we didn't just get this freedom. People had to pay for it. And people are forgetting that. So, 
that it is upsetting sometimes to me when I see people who don't care, you know, the people who burn the American flag. When people do those kind of things, and it, it, there's this rage, I just, I get so upset. And part of that has to do with my temperament. But the fact remains, to me, 4th of July and Labor Day and these holidays that focus around this, you know, the service of others should always be celebrated and should always be honored. And uh, I just, you know, I, I want to get my opinion out there. And I, you know, I just, I want people to understand where I come from, you know. Put all politics aside, all, all my opinion, well not my opinions, but put everything else aside. What matters to me is that we care for, that we honor those who deserve to be honored. So uh, I just figured I'd get that out, you know, kind of why the day is so important to me. Why, uh, what it means to me, and what it means to me is, you know, all the people that have served this country in many, many different ways. So, to you, if you have served ever, you know, in any way, shape, or form, I'd like to say thank you for serving this wonderful country. Thank you for protecting us and keeping our freedom secure. You know, i like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, and you know, definitely a big thank you to my family, you know, my dad, my brother, both my brothers, you know, with their careers and their choices that they're making. Um, hell, my mom even went over to Iraq and helped out, you know. I, my family is ingrained in that society, and to me, that means the world. That's what's important to me. So, shout out to all the service members, um, in any way, shape, or form, if you've served you got a thank you, and if you ever need it, a handshake and a hug. I don't give a damn. You know, you served, you deserve respect and honor. So thank you for your serving. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July weekend with tons of pie and fireworks. You know, and if you don't like pie, well, <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. Um, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Peace.